News 4 at 11 begins with breaking news. Tonight, a man killed in a violent confrontation with Fairfax County Police. It happened outside a homeless shelter near the Fort Belvoir military base. Shamari Stone was first on the scene. He joins us live with new details about what led up to the gunfire. Shamari? Good evening. Tonight, a source tells us that a man allegedly involved in the fight across the street at the homeless shelter started his erratic behavior at a nearby 7-Eleven. Now, the shelter was located on Richmond Highway behind me near Fort Belvoir's Tully Gate. Folks, take a look at this exclusive video from the 7-Eleven. Sources say this man is acting combatively. He picks up a two-liter soda, flings it across the store, and smashes the area where the sandwiches are located. A witness tells me... This man walked across the street to the Eleanor U. Kennedy Shelter for the Homeless. He allegedly continues acting belligerently, gets in a fight with some people at the shelter. Fairfax County police respond around 6 o'clock and say someone involved in the fight hit an officer. Police say that officer fired a shot and the suspect was pronounced dead at a hospital. Three people who live in the shelter believe the man who died is the one we just showed you in the 7-Eleven. However, I asked police and they won't comment on the video. They'll only tell us what led up to the police-involved shooting. One of those individuals turned and actually assaulted one of our officers. Throughout that altercation, an officer discharged his weapon. The guy started from across the street and walked over here and started fighting the people in the shelter. Then, I, then escalated from there. Now, here's what's interesting. Moments ago, I confirmed exclusively that two Fairfax County police detectives are reviewing the surveillance video we just showed you right now. As for the officer involved in the shooting, well, he's on administrative leave. That's standard procedure. Live in the Fort Belvoir area in Fairfax County, I'm Shamari Stone, News 4.